everyone, this is Pick for Life, coming to you with a new review from Iron Factory. This is their IFEX 39 hex wrench, or their version of a, obviously, legend scale um, uh, wheel jack. So, let's go ahead and get started with packaging review. You've got this nice window as we see wheel jack in there with his uh, very iconic looking colors. You can see that those colors carried out throughout the box with all the product images on the various sides. Some of the warning stuff on the bottom and then on the back we see more of all the goodness that we will get with hex wrench so we get various robot mode shots and one alt mode shot hidden way down in the bottom out of the packaging we actually get the clamshell as well as some instructions that we have here and a bag of goodies that we have here so these are the extra hands that he has inside the the clamshell itself, he has, um, well, hex wrench, obviously. We have his little gun, his shoulder missile, and an extra head. So the extra head, the difference is that, if I can get it out, is that instead of the stock head here, here, let's see if I can zoom in real quick. Instead of the stock head, that has gray, kind of like ear pieces, whatever you want to call them. Uh, he has metallic blue pieces on the sides. I actually like the metallic blue a little bit better, so it's a good thing I'll be showing you how to switch these out. The instructions, um, I don't think they're the best order just because of some clearance issues, so I'll show you how I do it. As far as the hand accessories, it's kind of the same kind of deal that we typically get with these hand replacements. So he comes installed with these standard fists. Yeah, let me get that out of the shot. He comes with these standard fists. They're closed, but he also comes with open fists, which he'll use for his weapon holding, and then the kind of splayed hands that we usually see. Like, stop in the name of love. I should never sing. That was the worst idea ever. I'll probably cut that. But yeah, they're just on pegs. We'll go ahead and install these. Um, if you're going to transform him into alt mode, uh, you'll need either the closed fist or the open fist. Uh, the open fist actually work better in hiding some of the gaps because they do have larger back panels here. So I would recommend that. We'll go ahead and plug his gun in. He does have alt mode storage for his weapon, both weapons, and then this kind of contraption here uses another peg to go on the back, has a swivel here, and then kind of a ball joint here. I say kind of, well, I mean, it is a ball joint, but um, I don't know why they decided to make it a ball joint. I don't think it was really necessary to do so, but there you go. There you have Hex Wrench in his robot mode, all decked out. Pretty clean looking overall. He does have a little bit of gaffage here. And his spoiler says Iron Factory, as you can see. All right, so um, articulation wise, you saw his gun here, his little wing thingies on the back. You can angle them at various angles. His head is on a ball joint. His shoulders are on a hinge here, as well as a ball joint in the shoulder itself. He has bicep swivel, which we'll be utilizing later for transformation, elbow bend, and as we saw before, his wrists are on pegs, so you can go ahead and swivel those around 360. He actually does have an ab crunch, which is nice. Um, you do have to move his chest kind of out of the way to make real use of it. If you have it totally pegged in or like totally collapsed in, um, you're probably not going to be able to get much use utility out of it. Yeah, see? You can get a little, well, I guess, I guess it's good enough. But I think you can get a little bit more if you unpeg here. You can swivel at the waist. He has ball jointed hips, as so you can go forward, back, and out to the side. He also has a separate thigh swivel. A knee bend at this hinge here, and I guess you could theoretically use this hinge here to get like kind of a double knee, knee bend, so you can go all the way in, but then that really breaks up the look of his leg. 
There we go. He has toe tilt and up and forward and back because he's on the mushroom peg here, and then he has heel articulation back here. His, heels, uh, his feet are pretty big, so I don't know that you completely need those, but it's ni nice that you have that option. And I think that's it for articulation. He's a nice little figure in robot mode. He does have some really nice paint. So he, like uh, we saw the metallic paint on his eyes as well as on his little ear muff thingies here. But he also has metallic red. And then a nice, solid, really clean paint on his chest. His legs and the, the gray kind of gum metal here, the black. Um, I know some of the Iron Factory figures in the past haven't had the cleanest paint apps, but these look really good. All right, so let's go ahead and get into transformation. <coughs> so let's take out his gun and you can fold this down. This will be for storage. We're gonna use this peg back here or this tab back here. Let's just keep that off to the side. And like I said, I recommend you using the open fist hands in general just because um, you can use the gun and it also fills in this panel the best. So I'll show you. You rotate. Well, I'm going to start with the lower body. The lower body makes more sense to me um, just because of some clearances. And there, it's also the most difficult part. So I fold it in the heel. I guess you can tab the two halves together at any point. Get the toes down like this. And then the, the legs collapse kind of like, like in a zigzag, zigzag pattern. So the, I find it the easiest to go ahead and bend at the knee like this, and then push it in from here. And you'll know you did it right because these panels here will kind of lie flat on the bottom of the vehicle mode. All right, kind of flush, um, lie flush with the rest of the bottom of the, the car. All right, next up you can go ahead and untab the chest here very tight chest. Uh, one thing to note is it actually has a bit of a swivel here. You can't go all the way around without potentially damaging it, but I'm guessing that's going to be for some kind of remold, and I can't think of who it might be. Otherwise, I don't know why they would even give you this artic articulation here. Anyway, this will come down. Let's not tab that in just yet. Then we'll deal with the arms. The arms will swivel at the bicep, and then swivel at the fist, like so, and you can see how this angle lines up here, this angle line here. And compared to the smaller fist, you can see just how big the panel is, and that helps fill in some of the gappage. Same thing on the other side, fill that in. I mean, flip that around, fill that in. Then we'll deal with the backpack. So the backpack comes unpegged here, comes all the way around, including this dark gray piece. So let's come down here, we're gonna flip in the wings. This is gonna come all the way around to the front. You can rock this back on that hinge. And this is gonna come in here. So there's uh, not really a tab system here, but I think it basically uses this uh, hinge system and this gap here as kind of a tab. So you're gonna push that in, and now we can go ahead and tab in the front there. Now the hands, we just kind of want to scooch up the shoulders on those hinges. And there's two tabs that you need to be worried about here. One is on the inside of the arm that will go into kind of like the oblique section. And then these tabs on the back. So let's just get these arms kind of in position. And then I find it easier to get these in the back first. So just scooch up on them. And then just give it a squeeze here. clean up any alignment issues that you might have. Lastly, we'll go ahead and use that tab that I mentioned before and go ahead and plug that right into what was the back of HexWrench. And there we have HexWrench in alt mode. He does have working wheels. You can see him rolling around like that. Um, he has no real other articulation aside from his weaponry, which you can swing around that way. Uh, but nothing else fancy going on here. He, do, he does look pretty nice. I think in comparison to some of the the only other wheeljack that I've had, uh, or not had, but I messed with in the Legend scale, the um, Toy World one, well, I forget what his 
what his name is there, but um, I actually think the Toy World one is a bit better done overall and has kind of some cool um, transformation that's kind of clever. This is pretty straightforward, but this one does look quite good. And it has that kind of non-G1-ish look. So depending on what you like in your collection, you may want to pick this one up or you want to make you may want to pick that, that Toy World one up. All right. So as far as getting back into robot mode so we can show off this extra head, basically same stuff, right? So let's go ahead and just untab some of the stuff here. Just untab this, come back here. I find it easiest just to pull out on the wheels just to release these tabs. And then these just kind of follow suit. You just want to pull out on these on the arms, get them down on the shoulders swing the shoulders down, and then you can go ahead and transform these. So rotating at the bicep, rotating at the wrist, arms are done, backpack just pull that all the way around, while you're doing so go ahead and flip these wings out, oh sorry I forgot to take out the gun, I always do that, come on. Flip out the pistol barrel, and then these two gray pieces will tab in up here. The chest will come up and tab in at the bottom. It's a very tight tab. The, le uh, the legs, well, again, I find it easiest just to like kind of rotate down at the knees, like so, and then extend them. Uh, you'll feel kind of a friction joint that kind of quote unquote locks them into place. Separate them, fold the toes up, fold the heels out. And there we have hex wrench back in robot mode. You can make, make use of these guns and the shoulder piece of uh, the shoulder cannon as you'd like. But since we're already here, let's flip this down, get a small Phillips head. Um, you may or may not need to actually do this. You could probably just pop it off the ball joint, but just to be safe, I would recommend going, going ahead and loosening that screw. You can see it breaks apart into two halves. And then opening up or loosening this screw. Popping the head right onto here. And just closing that up. Pretty quick and easy. Fold these back up. Get this back to the front. Um, I, the, the only, I guess, complaint I have with this is that you can't use it like this really. I guess you can by kind of baking it a little bit, but it doesn't have as much articulation on this side uh, just because of the way it's molded, but it does work. So I think people were probably going to ask, can I do it on the left side? I don't remember which one is more screen accurate. I'm going to guess th this other way on the right is more screen accurate. That's probably why they um, put it that way, but I wanted to at least show that you did have that option. But yeah, that's really it for the review. Quick review of Iron Factory Hex Wrench. The official transformation manual should be live by the time you watch this as well. But yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section how you like the Iron Factory line. Uh, they just showed off some new Iron Factory figures that are coming up. Like, um, I think they have a Leo Convoy as well as um, a couple of others that they've shown off. So. Which, one, which Iron Factory figure are you looking forward to most? That's all for today, everyone. Hope you have a good one.